Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadow Bomb, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update where today we're going to be looking at a Coast Child fact file. This is the series where we look at the facts, stats and history of a particular ride attraction around the world. Today we're focusing on Griffin at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. So before we get started with uh, all of that, we've got shout outs. We've got Brian Galeas, Adventure Aaron, uh, Nathan Graveson, and also massive shout out to Falco Flett who suggested this video. Uh, and also Single Rail Industries who wants to shout out. Make sure you go and check out their videos. Um, they're amazing to watch and, um, you know. You know, videos don't usually last so long sometimes, so you never know, it might go. So the, the longer you leave it, the more chance it might get of de getting deleted before you get the chance to actually watch it. So I would watch it now rather than later. Um, and that's to do with any channel, really. Um, but make sure you go over there, support the channels, support all their content, and uh, let's keep the con community rolling, shall we? Uh, so before we get started guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and we are over halfway to 1 million views, which is brilliant. It's just brilliant. And for now guys, let's have a look at what's been going on surrounding uh, with the facts, stats and history of Griffin at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Trust me, this is a fact file you did not want to miss out on. So Griffin first opened on the 18th of May 2007. It's a Bulgaro Maviar dive coaster. Uh, it has a length of 3,108 feet, a height of 205 feet, a speed of 71 miles per hour with two inversions, a duration of three minutes and a g-force of four. Now this cost 15.6 million dollars in US dollars and it's built by Bulgaro Maviar with a capacity of 1,400 riders per hour. Now, for those of you who need a bit of history on this attraction, then trust me, this has got a big history. Now, this actually replaced the former antique car ride Le Mans Raceway. Now, this was announced to be closing to the public back on July 5th, 2006 to make way for the brand new attraction. The trademark for the name Griffin was filed by SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment, the owner of the park, on July 12th, 2006. It was announced to the public on August 23rd, and on December 11th, two cranes installed the highest piece of Griffin with an evergreen tree. And after testing was complete, the roller coaster opened on the 18th of May. Now, when it opened, it held records for the tallest and fastest dive coaster in the world, both previously held by Sheikra at Sister Park, Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay in Florida. Now, it was also the first dive coaster to feature flawless trains. Uh, so this one was definitely a, flight t a flying bird of prey that was not to be missed. So there we go, that is the facts, stats and history around Griffin at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. A complete bird of prey flying, swooping, gliding around Busch Gardens Williamsburg on the old Le Mans Raceway site. Now the Le Mans Raceway theme of the antique cars, or the cars should we say, would be recycled in a way. Because if you look at the Bolton, which opened in 2012, and I'm not going to go into too much detail about that ride, but you know, for, for that fact file. But if you look at the Bolton, that's got the, the car theme design of the trains, as well as it being in the Big Bad, Bad Wolf spot and utilising parts of the Big Bad Wolf layout. Um, so it pays homage to both Big Bad Wolf and Le Mans Raceway, which is an interesting fact. Uh, so they would recycle Le Mans Raceway's sort of theme with the cars of the Bolton six years after Le Mans Raceway were closed to the public. Um, but Griffin is one of the big dive coasters in America. It's one of the big ones around the world as well. And, you know, like I say, it's one of the first to use the flawless dive trains. And it's the first to use the flawless dive trains. And overall, this was a gliding bird of prey that would swoop over this park and dominate the skyline. Um, so from the facts, stats and the history, it looks amazing. So there we go. And it's got an interesting history as well. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this fact file on Griffin at Busch Gardens, Williamsburg. Make sure you stay tuned for more exciting videos coming over the next few weeks. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill-tastic day.